Hello out there, you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another video from me. And I wanted to address something that I talked about, like, well, I think at this point it's been a bit over a month ago, and that was talking about the pricing of the Nintendo Switch carts versus Blu-ray. And the fact that I don't believe that it's more than Blu-ray. Um... Well, I believed that because I found out I was wrong, and I'm willing to admit that. Um, individually, a Switch cart costs a little bit more than a Blu-ray disc to press, individually. Um, once you bulk, get in the bulk buying territory, they're pretty much the same, with the Switch carts being a little bit more, and that's something I found out, so I've... I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and eat that crow, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it out. Hey, yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong, and I'm mad enough to admit it, unlike a lot of people on, on YouTube and different other uh, <laughs> video platforms. I'm mad enough to admit that I was wrong. Uh, no, no, you know what, I'm not man enough. I'm person enough to admit that I was wrong, because you don't have to be a man to admit that you're wrong. Uh, and... But what I did find out, which is what I thought to be the case, was that the pro the purchasing price of the Switch carts isn't much more than the 3DS carts. It's like mere pennies difference. So that still makes me think that the uh, excuse to throw $10 extra on the Switch version of the game versus a Sony or Microsoft version of a game is still BS. It's still a bullcrap excuse because people had no problem absorbing the cost for 3DS cartridges and the Switch cart doesn't cost too much different. And the only reason it is more expensive than Blu-ray is, is because its physical format is proprietary. Because it is based upon the same EMMC uh, flash memory that the SD cards and 3DS as well as I think DS games are based on. So again, and, and that memory itself is cheaper per gigabyte, but again the proprietary format, the physical format is what makes the cost go up. Which is I guess that's to be con that's to be understood and considered. But again, the pricing of it is literally penny. Like once you start bulk buying, like the prices between getting um, a Blu-ray for a PS4 or an Xbox One versus getting a, a Switch cart is like it becomes pennies. It literally becomes pennies. So that to me does not justify a ten dollar increase in price. It just doesn't make sense to me. It still doesn't make sense to me. And that will be off-putting for a lot of people until developers decide, hey, this isn't a good idea, let's not do this. But that's it. Um, and, but like, and yes, I know there are a lot of indie studios that have to work on that, but you know what? If they're making a choice to go physical, then they should absorb that slight bit of additional cost instead of passing it off to the, the gamer. Because you'll get more people who will be more loyal to you if they understand, hey, they are making a little bit less on this version of the game, so I'll keep an eye out for more of their stuff that they're putting out, and I'll buy more games from them. That that actually is something that they should have thought about, because people do think that way, and they do consider that type of stuff. But, you know, I'm done. That's it. I just wanted to get this out the way really quickly. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out.